Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about Topchef and how to get the benefit in Camazone. Uh, the chain is pretty long, just a warning, so uh, just a heads up, it is going to get nerfed uh, by the next update. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how, but uh, at least it would be shorter. It took me personally 8 hours to get it, so trying and retrying. And uh, we're of course going to check step by step, but uh, on this spreadsheet that you can see here, um, you have all the, uh, the parts, and just going fast through this. Uh, you of course start on number one, man on ground, and you get to number two, wandering gourmet, and then you unlock the fork, which is uh, three one, three two, three three, and also three four, and uh, you will also actually unlock uh, the ability to get a um, mouth watering news. But uh, that's not important right now. What we're going to focus on is, of course, the 3, 1, 3, 2, and 3, 3. And when you're done with those, you will also be able to do uh, 3, 4. Um, or you need to do those first. And, uh, I'll go through that when we get there. Anyways, uh, then you, of course, have the 4, Heartbroken Gourmet. You have the Dark Cooking. And uh, the 6th, which is called uh, Cuisine or Bizarre Food. And uh, that will lead you to... Uh, B, Chef from Dungeon Kingdom, and then you of course have Hell's Kitchen and the Last Supper, which is the, the very last one that will also give the benefit. So, first of all, Man on the Ground. Uh, for this uh, event, you will need to give him one of the food artifacts uh, to continue, and uh, that would be the Waybread, Flesh Piece, Blessing of Cooking God, or the Dragon Blood Needed. And that would be uh, either of the four. Um, so just grab whichever you want, and uh, to do that, I would suggest using. Uh, artifact support and store artifacts. Um, I think the best way would be to just get artifact support and then store that artifact that you choose, one of the four, and uh, then remove uh, artifact support and only have the store artifact. It goes faster and then you would just farm uh, the first floor of the easiest difficulty and uh, you just farm that over and over and reset. It goes a lot faster than progressing through the whole thing. Um, so that's the first step. And I believe this is the one that unlocks all the other events that we want to get to, or the next step, and that would be 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, and 3, 4, and also A, as we call it, that's uh, mouthwatering news. Uh, we're not going to go that far back now, the next thing to focus on is the fork, which would be the 3, 1, 3, 2, and 3, 3, and also 3, 4. So let's take a look at that. And the whole uh, main objective is to complete 3-4, Difficult Gourmet. In order to do that, uh, you need to get these three special dishes. Uh, they're not special artifacts, but they are uh, not available in the shop normally. So what you need to do here is to do uh, Lorraine's Joy of Cooking, Lynn's Bento Shop, and Advanced Meal in order to get these. And to get these three dishes, and or artifacts, you need to uh, have other artifacts and then give them... Uh, or, or have these three events happen, and, and then trade them in, basically, for the, uh, the specific artifacts that we need here. So we're just going to take a little break from this one for now, and we're going to look at those individual three events. Uh, the first one uh, will be Lorraine's cooking, and uh, in order to complete that, you will need to get the uh, or bring the predation flower with you, and I suggest using the same tactic as before. So that will be a store artifact and artifact support. Uh, what you can actually do is to bring two of you two with you at the same time. That's a lot more uh, efficient, and we'll look uh, at others in just a moment. And uh, that will be Lynn's Bento Shop in Camazon. I, I couldn't fit Camazon in the name on the spreadsheet, so I just went with Lynn's Bento Shop. Uh, anyways, you will need uh, Dragon's Blood for this one. So. Uh, uh, for example, you could start with these two first to bring with you and uh, to store. And the third one uh, is advanced meal. And uh, for that you will need a genius wig. So like I said, bring uh, two of these artifacts with you and uh, keep reset on floor one until you uh, get all of the three artifacts. Um, however, uh, when you do get one, uh, you will want to store that one instead, like in this case Mariton Supplement. And uh, then keep resetting and we are back with the difficult gourmet. And as you can see, uh, you will have to give these three, uh, like I said before, and uh, that's um, going to be the predator salad, the soup from another dimension, and the magician supplement, and that will look like this. Uh, do note that you get silver coins, like uh, we saw there, 300, 200, and also 100. And this is something you can do uh, during your other runs as well. Um, it's only the white ones that are one time only. Uh, this one will be repeatable later on for you to get these for your actual runs. And... Uh, 
also do note that when you give the third one and the last one, uh, whichever of that is, uh, you can see here it's an unseen result here, and that result is to unlock the uh, fourth event in the chain, and we're going to look at that uh, now. <clears throat> and that is Heartbroken Gourmet. Uh, this is just uh, to unlock Dark Cooking and uh, Cuisine of Bizarre Food, which is another chain that comes after. Uh, as you can see, Heartbroken Gourmet gives 20 bottle caps, which is of course nice, and uh, it will lead us to the next step. Uh, I'm also aware that there are two more chains, A and B as we call them, down, uh, but you're not able to do anything with those before completing um, dark uh, cooking. And um, so that's what we're going to focus on now. Uh, dark cooking needs the maze of stench, and I'm too lazy to make like a cutout of that artifact. You know which one it is. The same thing goes here farm floor one, store artifact, and uh, just repeat that. Uh, when you do get the maze of stench, you will be able to give that or turn it in, and you'll be able to get the pie from Edge of Hell. Uh, you are able to buy this pie from the shop as well uh, for 100 uh, silver coins. I I'm not sure if you're able to use that one though. I think dark cooking needs to happen for the next part in the chain to happen. So I think you actually need to get the dark cooking and use maze, uh, get the maze of stench there and turn it in for the pie instead of buying a pie. Um, maybe I'm wrong there. So maybe bring some silver coins which as well. There's another artifact that lets you start with 150. So you could go with that and the, and the store artifacts uh, benefit for example. And um, once you have the pie, then you just keep climbing in the in the tower, and uh, hope that you get the event. This one took a while for me personally. And uh, ah, here's the pie. By the way, they have changed it to minus 100% skill attack up from 50, and of course changed the name a little bit as well. And uh, here's the event that you want to happen. Uh, once that happens, you are giving the pie to uh, to this uh, goblin gourmet, and he's going to uh, eat it. And uh, that is going to unlock. Uh, the second outcome of the first option in chain B. We're going to look at that in just a moment. Uh, but before doing that, we're just going to look at mouthwatering news. And uh, this one you may have already encountered by this time. Uh, the only reason for this one to be there is to unlock Chet from Dungeon Kingdom. And, um, but you can't do anything with it until you complete the previous one, Cuisine of Bizarre Food. Uh, as you can see, there's two outcomes there, and you will only have nothing happened uh, before you give uh, the Cuisine of Bizarre Food. However, once you are at this step, and you have completed, and you have given the pie of hell to, uh, or from hell, uh, to the, the gourmet there, uh, the outcome is going to be different. As you can see right now, it says that uh, he's out of ingredients, and he can't really do anything, he declines. But when you have completed the previous step, you can see now that you're instead getting bottle caps, and this will unlock the final two steps of this uh, long, tedious event chain. And the first one out is Hell's Kitchen. And uh, in order to do this, you do need the flesh piece, but also Blessing of the Cooking God. Uh, there's a D missing there, I see the name, but anyways. Uh, you need both of them, so make sure to bring both with Store Artifact and... Um, what's that one called? Uh, artifact Support, right. Uh, so don't miss out on that. Uh, same thing here, Farm Floor 1. And once you do complete this, or rather once you have the event popping up for you, the following is going to happen. You will get the Special Meat Pie Artifact. And um, that looks like uh, this, nice. And it's a really good one, by the way, if you can get it on a normal run as well. Uh, a bit fiddly to get, I guess, but if you can be lucky early on, that's a nice one. The HP buff is uh, really nice, especially when paired with, uh, with the gourmet uh, benefit. Anyways, we're not done yet, sadly. And this is the very final step, and this one took a while for me. And that is the last supper. And uh, finally the gourmet will be satisfied. But uh, in order to do that you of course need a dish. And it took me I think three dishes and well three clears to um, floor eight. Uh, to get this uh, event popping up uh, while having the, the dish on me. Uh, so it, it definitely took a while here. I heard people doing it five times and not getting it. And, and you know it, it takes a good while. So maybe put on a good movie or something or a series. And... And just grind that floor one until you can get your hands on the on the special meat pie and then just go for it uh, until you find this event and then you will be finally done with this. And the outcome looks like that and uh, the last supper that's going to give you 500 bottle caps at one time only. And uh, you will also get the top chef. Uh, benefit. So congratulations if you got this far and uh, I hope it didn't took as long as it took me. It took me eight hours. Uh, so yeah, but I guess it was uh, nice in the end. Maybe.
well, anyways, thanks for uh, staying with me here. It's almost 10 minutes, so it's time to wrap this up. But um, I hope this helped, and uh, good luck in there. And uh, see you next time. Bye.